massive star warships, spread across the galaxy, drifted through the dark void of space. Their brilliance rivaled the pale light of the stars. One of these warships, the Torka, was the most powerful and feared vessel of the Torgans. Inside, a dying Torgan warrior's cries of agony echoed through the halls. The Torgans were known for their physical strength and ruthless battle strategies. Humans, on the other hand, had recently emerged as a new species within this galactic chaos. They did not possess advanced technology, but their intelligence and adaptability made them stand out. It didn't take long for humans to catch the attention of other galactic species. However, this attention was not entirely positive. When humans were called to war by the Galactic Union to maintain peace in the galaxy, no one could have predicted the impact they would have. Humanity, with its creativity and strategic intelligence, altered the course of the war. However, their successes and victories began to sow seeds of jealousy and fear within the Galactic Union. One day, in the highest council of the Galactic Union, one of the Torgan leaders claimed that the success humans showed on the battlefield posed a threat to the galaxy. They, said the Torgan leader, could one day defeat us. The mere existence of this species is menacing. The Torgan warship Torka had sustained heavy damage in a battle. Inside, as Commander Vartak took his last breaths, his mind drifted back to the past. Commander Alex was a tall and muscular man. He had sharp blue eyes and short, cropped black hair. Known for his discipline and determination, he was a respected leader. During the Human and Torgan Alliance, he had fought in many battles alongside Vartak, achieving numerous victories together. One day, Alex and Vartak met in the Galactic Union's strategic planning room. Alex was bent over a map, examining the positions of enemy forces. Vartak, carefully lowering his massive frame, approached Alex. Alex, your plan to break through enemy lines is very risky, said Vartak, his deep and booming voice resonating. But I trust you. Your strategic intelligence has saved us in many battles. Without lifting his eyes from the map, Alex replied, Vartak, there are always risks but we must surprise the enemy and make unexpected moves. We know their weak points, and we must exploit them. Vartak placed a heavy yet friendly hand on Alex's shoulder. Fighting alongside you is an honor for our kind. The intelligence and creativity of humans have taught the Torgans a great lesson. Alex smiled and looked into Vartak's eyes. Fighting alongside you is an honor for us as well. But we know that this war is not just against enemies but also against fear and distrust. These words led Vartak into deep thought. Throughout their time together, their trust in each other had grown, and they had become true friends. However, the Galactic Union's decision had strained this friendship and alliance. Aftermath of a battle. After a battle, Alex and Vartak were tending to their wounds on a ship when a profound conversation took place between them. Alex, said Vartak, Lifting his heavily injured body, we are not just warriors. We are also guardians of peace. But the Council fears the power of humans. They are worried about their future potential. Alex looked into Vartak's face and responded in a serious tone. We will always defend peace. However, decisions like these disrupt the balance of the galaxy. Humans should not be seen merely as a threat. We must strengthen our alliances and ensure peace. Vartak saw the determination in Alex and took a deep breath. Leaders like you are promising for the future of this galaxy. Humans should be our allies, not our enemies. These conversations further solidified their friendship and mutual trust. However, the Galactic Union's decision put this friendship to a difficult test. Vartak had once fought shoulder to shoulder with humans. He admired their courage and resilience. But he had been forced to betray humans by the High Council's decision. Vartak's screams echoed through the metallic walls of the ship. Each scream reflected his regret and pain. When humans were banned from the Galactic War, they did not know the real reason behind this decision. They thought it was just a matter of power balance. But the real reason was much deeper. The Galactic Union saw the intelligence and adaptability of humans as a threat to their existence. Humans had caught up with the evolutionary and technological advancements of other species in a short time shaking the thrones of these other species. To protect their own interests, the Union decided to ban humans from the war. When implementing this decision, 
no explanation was given to the humans. They were simply told that the war threatened peace and that it would be better for humans to remain in the background. Humans had to accept this decision, but their curiosity and suspicion never waned. Years later, human scientists secretly accessed the archives of the Galactic Union and learned the true reason for their banishment. This was a great disappointment for them, but it also provided them with information that could shape the future of the galaxy. Humans decided to use this information to their advantage. Vartak's cries fueled their anger and determination. They were once again ready to show the rest of the galaxy the strength and intelligence of humanity. Humans reassessed their diplomatic relations with the Galactic Union. Now, they were stronger and more determined. Their intelligence and adaptability would once again shake the balance of the galaxy. Vartak's cries continued to echo as a warning and a call. Humanity was now ready not only to fight, but also to ensure peace and justice in the galaxy. As the dying Torgan's cries echoed across the galaxy, humanity stepped into a new era. This era would be remembered not only for war and victories, but also for peace and justice. Humans were no longer a part of the Galactic Union. They were an independent and powerful species, ready to determine their own destiny.